is up, Evil Dead fans? It's been a little while. The last video I did that I, well, that I posted was uh, the, what was that? The Ash playing Pokemon Go. That was the last thing that I did, and uh, I've been kind of sick. Had that nasty cold that's been going around. It's just been, just kind of hanging around for the last couple weeks. And uh, so that's why I haven't been posting anything. I just kind of post here and there, uh, just on Facebook. Um, that's what I've been doing. And also, I'm not wearing my hat. I just decided not to wear a hat today. Um, what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about a few things. New parts that I've done, uh, improvements, and also the uh, Jacksonville Chainsaw. That's the Season 2, Episode 1 Chainsaw. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is improvements. Now, improvements, what, by way, what I mean is my Episode 1, Season 1 Chainsaw. Now, if you remember what I had on it was this super thin grill. Now, where I got the dimensions from was a few views, different screen caps, and also the one where it flies through the air, the CGI chainsaw. Um, while I was making the Jacksonville chainsaw uh, grill, I went back and re-looked at the one on mine, uh, different screen caps, things like that, and came to realize that one's just a little bit too thin. It's about an eighth of an inch too thin. Now, this is the one that I made. Now, you can see it's a lot thicker. And it's only actually an eighth of an inch thicker. It's got a black back because I actually cast, made a mold of it, and I casted a bunch of them. So if you look head to head or next to each other, it's about an eighth of an inch thicker. This is the proper size. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make a bunch of these for Chicago at Flashback Weekend because I am going back to Chicago. Uh, I will have a table there with the Knights of Samaria. It's basically a Knights of Samaria, you know, uh, table. That's what it is. Not really a Brett Scrooby Chainsaw's table, but I will be selling a lot of parts, and I will cover that in another video on all the different stuff I'll be selling there. Basically, almost everything to build a chainsaw. Um, so, yeah. Another thing I've been working on is a post-apocalyptic chainsaw. The body of that is done. I just got to do the bar, and then that's done. But, yeah, I'm doing these grills now. This is what I'm doing um, when I do an Ash vs. Evil Dead episode 1, season 1, or a season 2, episode 1, or any of the ones that they come that they're on the chainsaw. Another thing I'm doing is making these. Now this is a casted piece that I did and painted. As you can see, it's not white on the back. This is what I've made. I made one, you know, sculpted, made one, whatever. And then I think I did a video a while back on how I made that. Um, maybe, maybe not. I, I post all over the place, I do apologize. But there's that right there. That's the inner piece that goes inside of Ash's chainsaw. Notice it's oval because it is oval, it isn't rounded. And to finish it off, all you gotta do <clears throat> is get a thick foam piece, get it any any uh, craft store, <clears throat> measure the side of your wrist clamp, glue this on it, and insert, and it just sits in there. You can pop it out whenever you want to. But that's what that is. Here's what it looks like uncasted right here. I am selling these. If you're interested in buying one of those, contact me on Brett's Groovy Chainsaws on Facebook. That's where you can get a hold of me about getting one of these. Now, this is the cast. This isn't the, my original. This is one of the one casted like this, but painted up. Okay. Now, the next project is a Jacksonville chainsaw. There is some differences. There was more than one chainsaw. In episode one of season two, there was actually three different ones, at least three different ones. Um, I'm doing this chainsaw for Kurt Eubank out of Australia uh, from CB Studios. And uh, he wanted, I said, which one do you want? And he said, the most prominent look. And so the most prominent one that I found was the one where he grabs the chainsaw with his belt. That to me was the most prominent one. And that one has the normal shorter back versus the episode one season one. Uh, chainsaw that I did with a closed back. There's a few little differences and here's one of the differences This is just one of a few videos that I'm gonna do on building that chainsaw Now here's the block piece, but if you notice here That's a Phillips head Now if you remember from my episode one season one chainsaw, it is a flat head screw instead of this Phillips head um, <clears throat> If you look back to that scene what you'll see is this not even painted. And I went through my screen caps and did find that I do have the auction photos of that chainsaw, that specific chainsaw. So, um, 
yeah, I do. And anyways, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the Jacksonville chainsaw. Remember, this one's going to have a top that's just a little bit shorter, like you remember. Not as well, not short, but not as long as the Ash vs. Evil Dead Season One chainsaw, and that this one, the Jacksonville, does have this bolt or screw in it. Now, when you get one of these screws or bolts, check the size of the head if you're going to chainsaw specific. I mean, they were all over the place with these, but just take a screen cap of how big that is in, compar in comparison to this block and the edges. And that can tell you exactly the size. I don't remember this that kind of stuff. I look at it and go, that's right. And that's really all I do, because when you go from one size to the next for uh, bolt heads or screw heads, there is a big difference. You want it, one that's kind of rounded like that. You don't want the flat, you know, the flat look. You don't want the flat look of those. Um, but really, that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, I finished up the Evil Dead 1 chainsaw. I don't have it anymore. That went out to the customer. I do have a quick video, just kind of an overview of it. I recorded it. I did not post it yet. I don't know if I will. And uh, I just might. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I've been extremely busy. I was sick, like I said. Uh, this is a very, very boring video compared to all the other ones. I'm just super busy, but I figured I'd... Keep you guys up to date on what I'm doing in the Jacksonville Chainsaw is the next one that I'm building and I'm doing it right now. And uh, I will give the full unveiling of the post-apocalyptic chainsaw once I get the bar in and get that all finished up. Like I said, the body of it's done. I just gotta get the bar done. I gotta get the bar in and get everything done to it that needs to be done to that. Uh, and then you guys will see it. So guys, girls, whatever you are, that's all I got for now. Really simple, really short video, and uh, just kind of an update. And a few little things, like I said, before I go. Um, these are for sale. If you want one of these, contact me on Facebook at Brush Groovy Chainsaws, and I will tell you how to get a hold of one. These grills, I am not selling these outright right now. Um, I am selling them, as of right now, exclusively at Chicago Flashback Weekend. Uh, if I decide to sell them prior, I will let everybody know, but I just, I just don't want to. I mean, <laughs> I got so much stuff to make for, for Chicago. I can't just be going through everything, going through all my, uh, all my resin and all that stuff. I just can't be constantly buying it and buying it and buying it. But, um, if I do, like I said, if I do decide to sell them prior, I will let everybody know until next time you guys stay groovy.